Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Hidden Expedition Titanic. I'm MCF Papa, and this is part one. And now, Hidden Expedition Titanic is a very special game, because it was on the original disc version of the game that I got for my sixth birthday, that there was a demo of Mystery Case Files Huntsville and Mystery Case Files Prime Suspects, so if it wasn't for me getting this game, I would have never, ever, well maybe not ever, but it would have been a lot longer before I would have discovered Mystery Case Files, if ever. It might have been that I never played the games at all and never even knew about them, and I wouldn't have even had a YouTube channel, so very influential, and this game was also made by Big Fish Studios, so that's a plus. Any resemblance to authentic historical or scientific fact is unintentional. And basically, with the game, you're just looting the Titanic for items. I guess it's not for personal profit, it's for the sake of, like, family members whose ancestors died. You're taking their antiques and precious stuff like family heirlooms they want back because like this blue bottle probably has tremendous historical value or sentimental value to someone and then there's also gems you collect which don't do anything and there's an oxygen tank and what that does is it'll give you a bit more time and there's one oxygen tank per level but it's not really hidden it's always in the same spot like in every level that there's a deck you visit that's the one that the oxygen tank will be in and this game is also notable for being much, much smaller in scale compared to the likes of Huntsville or Prime Suspects. Like, there's, in, for example, the first level, there's two locations, but in every level, there's only two or three locations to visit. And that's kind of weird that the background music changes every time you visit a level. And I love though that there are these little fish swimming around in every stage. It's a really nice touch. And I mean the concept of exploring like the Titanic underwater is a really good idea for a hidden object game. Because it's kind of spooky, but still, like, interesting and intriguing. And they have fun little facts after each scene you complete. The Titanic carried 3,560 life jackets and 49 life buoys. Did you know that? I assume they actually, like, ensured their information was accurate. 
and there's five gems in each location you can collect. So now you get ten gems. Doesn't give you anything. Nothing changes. You don't get any extra hints or anything. Because the way hints work in this game is you just get a hint and that takes off part of your oxygen. And that's a pretty morbid thing for a timer system is having your oxygen slowly running out. And I guess if you click on stuff too fast then you are like moving around too much and exhale too much of your oxygen and that's why your time goes down. Because in other, like in Huntsville, you run out of time, you just like lose and gotta do it again. But in this game, you run out of time, you're dead. And it's kind of a morbid joke, iceberg led us here. <laughs> Get it? Because the Titanic hit an iceberg. And there's a polar bear swimming around. I wonder how he got there. I'm trying not to be insensitive or anything, but... Like, the Titanic was a tragedy, but it's just so long ago that it happened and stuff. The Titanic consumed 825 tons of coal in one day. Well, maybe it's for the best it sunk with all that carbon emissions. Find the final page of Make Ed Brunch, the last book by famed cooking thriller writer Mill S. Furrows. The book was published years ago when the manuscript was found washed ashore in Turkey. However, the last page and conclusion has been missing since its publication. We think the page is probably still in the typewriter. Find all the items to complete the set. Yeah. And it's really weird that, like, during this, when this pops up initially, and even now, like, your timer's still going down in the background. I don't get that. And so you have, like, the actual images here, and then the silhouettes to find. And something weird, too, is that this part had a pair in the like hidden object scene but now it's a green skull which also got reused for mixed gas and prime suspects and the octopus was holding the notebook and then there's the little typewriter there and you, you did it and then after every level you get a new rank ranks don't do anything but they're there yeah. I think like back in the day though even after getting Prime Suspects, I think I played Titanic even more because it was just so such a shorter game. Because there's only like 14 levels and max amount of items to find in a level is... 
so I would just play it multiple times all the way through in one day to the point where my parents got annoyed because I was spending so much time on the computer. Oh, I always thought this cra or starfish was really cute because he's like posed kind of like I always thought he was like waving at you. And it's very chilling music that plays in the background here. Like this song, it's like the ghosts of the people that died or singing or something. I don't know if maybe they wanted to take Hidden Expedition in a more horror direction, but then decided against it, which is why the other Hidden Expedition games they made are much more tamer. Aboard the Titanic were five grand pianos and four cases of opium. Huh. We knew know what the rich people on the Titanic got up to. <laughs> Maybe they wanted Mystery Case Files to be the more supernatural, horror-oriented series. So that's why they swapped it around, because Huntsville and Prime Suspects weren't very scary at all. And then Ravenhurst was when they started in on the horror. But it's just funny to think of that, like, due to the butterfly effect, like, this game existing and me getting the CD version of the game specifically, and them having, de deciding to install demos on it of the Mystery Case Files games is the, eventually becomes the catalyst for me starting a YouTube channel and me eventually deciding to do a let's play of this game. Weird. Oh yeah, a pay toy what costs five cents to flush. Now in like the 1917 or whenever the Titanic was sailing around, that would probably be an insane amount of money just to flush a toilet.
But I never really got the concept of pay toilets because, like, you pay to flush, I'm pretty sure, don't you? It's not like the lid of the toilet seat is locked. So couldn't you just do your business and then just leave? I'm looking all over for the wooden doll, and it's right by my pointer. Took 3,000 people two years to build the Titanic. And it took, like, only a handful of people a few minutes to cause it to sink. Huh. Oh yeah, it alternates the end of level, half of them have the finding objects in one of the scenes and the other half have restored the old photo. I wonder where they got these photos from. Are they like authentic to the time period of the Titanic or did they just find generic old timey looking photos and threw them into the game? This one's a photo of, like, people outside of a music store. Presumably, these three guys are have just, like, founded it. And it's, like, the grand opening or something. The one complaint I have is it doesn't give you much time at all to look at, like, the completed photograph to see it in its restored glory. But anyway, that'll do it for this first part, so like and subscribe if you want, and I'll see you next time when we go on to Dive 3.